Hey everyone, welcome to Windy Studio and welcome to another brand new Photoshop tutorial. And today we'll be creating a very simple conceptual poster design as well as in Photoshop. And if you are new to this channel and haven't subscribed my channel yet, then please, please, please do subscribe my channel. And if you want to support me on my Patreon, my Patreon link is in the description list below. So with that note, let's dive into the video. And first thing first, let's create an artboard. So go to file, click on new. And I'll just go with 4x5 resolution to 300, color mode to RGB, bitrate to 16, and let's click on create. And right after that, let's drag and drop this layer cut out right over here. And let's convert it as a smart object. Control T, let's make it a little smaller. And maybe some more, and let's keep it maybe right around here. Uh, right and then now let's create a new layer go to brush and let's go for a soft brush let's change the color to black and let's add a simple contact shadow right over here and maybe let's make it a little smaller and let's keep it under this layer Control t yep let's um, drop down the opacity just like that control t let's maybe let's keep it like that and let's make a one more copy control t let's drag and drop uh, this cut out right over here and again let's convert it as a smart object control t let's make it a little smaller let's cover uh, some of his parts with this blend cutout so let's keep it right like that alt and drag control t let's flip it with horizontal side yep, let's keep it like that and let's make uh, one more copy let's move add some rotation just to give some variation and let's fill this part right over here right over here and then let's uh, drag another png right over here and let's convert it as a smart object Control t let's make it a little smaller and then just to give some variations uh, just uh, keep on adding and some of these parts just like so and then maybe right over here too and let's keep it under this layer and let's make a one more copy control t Now let's drag and drop this vine png right over here and let's convert it as a smart object control t let's add some rotation let's make it a little smaller yep, just like so and let's make a one more copy control j control t let's flip it in other side and then Let's add a warp just like so and let's do the same thing for this one control and this vines control T let's add a warp just like so and then let's do the same thing let's import that vine again and then Control T, let's add a rotation and let's keep it 
right over here let's make a one more copy Control J Control T let's flip it in other side just like so yep let's keep it just like so and for the vines let's keep those vines inside a group Control G so these are the leg vines and then let's keep them inside a group Control G so these are the vines from hand so and vines uh, and then uh, let's let's keep this image inside a group control G and let's rename it as a image holder and then let's create a layer max go to the brush and then let's go for a hard brush and let's erase these parts just like so and again for this one too let's erase these parts Yep, just like that and let's keep the vines under under this image just like so and again for for the leg vines create a layer max and let's remove these parts just like so so this is what we got now let's do some color adjustments so select this layer go to filter let's go to camera raw filter and let's uh, drop down the vibrance let's uh, uh, increase the shadows let's increase clarity let's increase textures maybe let's drop yeah, let's keep it like that maybe let's increase exposure just a little bit and let's drop down the highlights yep let's keep it like that and let's click on okay now let's add a gradient map on very top so go over here add a gradient map and for this color let's change the black to kind of lighter black just like so and for the white let's let's go for a kind of bluish color vibes yep let's let's go for kind of this white just like that and then let's uh, drag and drop uh, this cut out right over here and let's keep it on very top below the gradient map Control T let's make it smaller let's add a warp just like so and let's make one more copy let's add a rotation just to give some variations and let's keep it right over here and let's select the layer go to filter let's go to blur let's add a motion blur just like so and let's do let's convert it as a smart object and then let's apply blur go to motion blur and for this one let's add a rotation maybe and let's keep it just like so and let's do add some uh, other small uh, leaves so let's drag and drop make a copy let's make it a little smaller and then let's convert it as a smart object so next time if we need to change uh, some uh, numbers for our motion blur we can do it anytime so select this layer go to filter let's apply the motion blur and let's drop down the blur distance yep let's keep it like that and let's make a copy Control j Control t let's add a rotation and let's keep one right over here
and then now let's add a color lookup so go over here let's add a color lookup and from here let's go for a for a horror blue and let's drop down the opacity to kind of kind of 22 percent looks good to me now let's add some text right over here and maybe let's add a small rectangle right over here and let's add a text on right over here and let's keep it all the way to the bottom and then let's change the opacity to kind of yep like that and let's go uh, over here for to the main image let's make a copy Control j let's go to filter let's go to and let's apply the same motion blur and maybe let's change the distance angle to kind of this one and yep let's keep it like that and let's create a layer max go to brush and let's eat it uh, let's go for a soft brush and let's eat it some of these effects right over here so So that's the final and I hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and see you in the next video.